Today we're going to talk about the difference between active income and passive income. Active income is basically money that you make at your job, like you perform services to get your money. It could be a job, it could be a hooker on the street, maybe you performed your services on the street, and you got paid for it. Good for you. Now, not that I ever did pay for anything, I mean. You know what I mean? So, on to her. All right, here we're at. So, active income. You go to your job every day, and at the end of the week, you get a paycheck, right? So, you perform the services, you're getting paid for it. That's your income. Uh, if you're, that's the active income. The passive income is getting it from other places that you really didn't do a lot for, okay? Uh, so, I prefer passive income, okay? And I'll explain that in a minute, what that's all about and why I prefer it. But here's the thing. Active income is very, very limited. You can only make what your job is going to pay you. If you are salaried in at $600 a week or, you know, capped out at 40 hours a week and it ends up to be $600 a week or whatever it is, okay, that's the money you can make. Unless you have incentives, bonuses, things like that in there, that's pretty much what you're going to make. So... What I like to refer to, those of you who know me know that I, I preach about this all the time, about the just over broke. So for me, a job stands for just over broke. And I'll explain that. The reason I say that, most of you know, every time you get a raise, the cost of inflation goes up and they just keep offsetting each other and you never really get ahead. Okay? Then all of a sudden, you're usually maxed out at your job. Once you hit the ceiling, if you've been there for a while, do you think inflation stops right here? Hell no. Inflation just keeps right on going. So that's why I don't like that. I do not like that job deal, all right? All right, passive. Let's talk a little bit about passive. The passive income is income that you receive with little to no work being done, okay? And you think to yourself, well, how can that possibly be? I'm going to show you how that is and explain to you why that's the one I definitely prefer. Here's what happens. Some of you have seen this before. This is the money. This is, this is the money funnel. All right. Now, my very first job could be, let's say I have lawn care. All right. So lawn care is right here. It's a source of revenue that comes into my, my company. Then maybe we have landscaping right here. Another source of revenue that comes into the company. Now we've got uh, a vape shop here. Another source of revenue into the company. Went so well we started a second vape shop. Second vape shop. More income into the company. CBD store. Another. And these are just examples of my revenue, okay? Then you have a, uh, we're going to go pest control business. Another source of revenue. Pest control franchise. Another source of revenue. Okay. Now let's just say, for example, that in my job, and I work this job all week long, at the end of the week, I'm going to come home. There's my $600, all right? So you got 600 bucks here that you did. Now, minus your taxes. No idea what that's going to come to, and please don't hold me to this thing, but let's say you end up with 525 maybe, left in the week. All right? That's what I'm going to get every week. That's, that's it. That's it. I can't get any more. Can't get any. I can get less if I get canned, but I can't do any better than that if I don't have bonuses and so on and so forth. Now, just a prime example of how the having the passive income is awesome. And in my own, my own little mess that I drew up here, these are just sources of revenue that I have. You may have gas stations. You may have uh, ice cream shops. God only knows, right? But here's the point. Let's say that one of these coming in, uh, let's say the first one, the lawn care. Let's say uh, at the end of the week, this thing makes me a thousand bucks, right? Let's do it this way. So we got one thousand here off of that. Now let's take another one. 
and let's take the landscaping. Maybe the landscaping at the end of the day, maybe I can bring home two grand a week at the end of that. Let's look at the vape shop. And these are just fictitious numbers that I'm throwing out here, so don't hold me to these numbers, but I just want you to get the example and the point of this whole thing. So let's say the vape shop comes in and I get 1K a week off of that. Now I have another vape shop and I get another 1,000 off of that, right? Okay. Then we'll look over at the CBD shop. CBD shop is struggling, but I still believe that we're in the 1K range. If that's the case, then you look over at the pest control side. Pest control, I, I may be, even if you averaged it out in a year, it's probably, let's see, be, yeah, it'd be 1K a week. Easy, easy 1K a week, right? And then the franchise. All right, now I did this just to show you the difference. Here, when I went to work nine to five, this is what I bring home. Now, if I had saved my money and I did everything right, and I reinvested it in, into other sources of, of revenue, and I work those right so that they're profitable, well now let's just take a look at what I would bring home a week here. You'd have three, four, five, six, seven grand without the franchise. $7,000 versus $525. Huge difference, right? This is why I like this model. This is why I want to show you guys about this. When you're working that job, you're never going to get ahead. I mean, unless you're making an ungodly amount of money. And you're okay with this. If you're okay with that for the rest of your life, and you better pray you don't get sick or hurt. You can get by on that, and you're a single guy, and you're thinking, oh, that's, that's more than enough. I mean, hell, I got 25 bucks left over by the time I'm done going to the bar all weekend. You're okay with that? Great. That's where you sit. But for me, this is absolutely not okay. All right? I'd much rather be over here pulling in 7 k uh, in a week's time instead of over here. I, you have financial freedom when you get to this spot. Not all of these things will sit and make good money. Some of them make a lot better money than others. Again, these are fictitious figures. But it gives you an idea of where we're at how this works this is this is cash flow this is cash flow coming through here and cash flow is all about of course you want the most money left to you at the end of the day it costs you money to run all these things and the numbers that i throw up here these are not cost numbers right these are profit numbers these are profit numbers that i throw out that's more realistic of any business um, if you run it correctly okay um and that's after we've paid all the expenses in and out throughout this stuff. So get the point of the thing. If you had one store, if you just had one store over here and it was an ice cream shop. Ice cream, right? And that's right here. And here's your store. Maybe that thing brings you 1K a week, okay? That's a start. That's a damn good start. So if that brings you 1000 a week, you're making your 525 here. Now you're at 1500 you take and you save money off of that. It's for a whole other video, but this is the difference between active income and passive income. And I want you guys to understand it. This is, this is where the money's at, over here. All right? Not over here. It's over here. So while you guys are looking, that's where you need to be looking, right? You can take one business and you can just blow it up. You don't need to have several sources of income. Uh, you can just blow up your lawn care company. You can blow up your landscape company. You can keep doing those things. But I'll tell you, you will hit, if you, you hit recessions and things of that nature, um, I remember in 2008 we hit the recession and you couldn't give away a landscape job. So it was tough. Everybody was holding on to their money. So if you stuck all your money into landscaping, for example, you are in trouble when that hits. So you better have a maintenance division behind you and other sources of income, which is why I diversified. It's almost like the stock market. You can get into the stock market and you can spend... All, you take all your money and put it on one stock that you think is super duper awesome and it turns out to just be crap, right? And that's not the way to go and that's the way they, they tell you not to do that. They say diversify. Put some in all these different stocks and at the end of the day you should get around 6% or 7% interest, right? If everything goes right because some are going to gain, some are going to lose. So that's no different in business. And that's why I believe in having the different sources of revenue 
because I think that's better than just having one huge business, okay? Um, I, for many reasons, okay? So um, I, this is just the model that I've chosen. You can do whatever you want to do, of course. Anyway, I mean, which one would you rather have, really, if you think about that? Leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you think about that. Um, this is how you use money to make money over here. This is a just over broke. You guys leave me your comments down below. I'd appreciate it. I always try to get back to everybody. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell so that you'll be alerted to the next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And of course, subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching. <music>